Here we go. Yes. So here's the heart. Here's the superior vena cava. The superior vena cava has two tubes here. The right brachiocephalic and the left brachiocephalic. They're named that because they are formed by two separate tubes, one from the head, cephalic, and one from the arm, which would be a, the brachial contribution, right? So in terms of naming, this one is called the right internal jugular vein, and this is the right subclavian vein, and they together join to form the right brachiocephalic. The same pattern is on the left with left subclavian, left internal jugular, forming the left brachiocephalic, and the two brachiocephalics forming the superior vena cava. Below the heart, you can find the inferior vena cava here, coming from the abdominal cavity. And then the, the third drainage area is the azygos vein, and if I pull the right side of the chest cavity open and pull the right lung up, you can see the azygos vein and you can even see right here these little posterior intercostal veins here, one for each rib space. So there's many, many, many posterior intercostals joining the azygos vein if we follow the azygos vein in a superior direction, it's going to come right up here and join the superior vena cava. So those are the ten veins of the thoracic cavity. That we're going to know.